Oh, 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 Jesus. Hey, I'm Edgar Caster from OneUpIsland.com. We're here at day two of this Portland gaming. The fuck ever this is. Jesus. Where's the booze? Hello everyone, I'm Edgar Caster and I'm here with a character from Super Mario Brothers 2. Uh, sir, it looks like you finally escaped your dream video game nightmare prison. Uh, how do you feel? Oh, he's just a little shy. Wait, no, you should be talking. Uh, talking. Hey, I'm Edgar Caster from OneUpIsland.com, and I have here with me uh, Kit from uh, Knight Rider. So, uh, Kit, not to bring up bad memories or bad blood, but I was speaking to the Batmobile over at the Rose City Comic Con. It says that uh, he said that there's uh, sort of a rivalry between you two uh, cars right now. Do you care to comment on that? I understand. So there's been drag races, uh, r chicken runs, stuff like that. So. Uh, be honest, for the folks over on Internet Land, uh, who's winning right now? I understand. And, you know, and I know you're trying your best right now, and it, the Batmobile does have a large rocket on the back of it, so it definitely is going to beat you in speed. So, uh, Kit, listen, what you got to do is you got to think smarter. You, I mean, you're the you're the computer inside of the car. You got to think of better strategies, better routes. You got to calculate the turn so that you can overtake him when you can. And Kit is looking at you. And how do you feel? How do you feel about the recent Pac-Man revival, uh, minus you after the divorce? God. How's uh, how's uh, post uh, how's post menopause life treating you? God. How much for a blowjob? Trick question. It's a hand job. <laughs> And I have with me here two cosplayers here at um, the Portland Gaming Retro Card Game Avant Garde Expo. Yeah. Um, and uh, you guys are? My name's Amato. I'm Serena. And nice to meet you. So uh, th I guess the first question is, what drew you to the, the characters that you're cosplaying as? Um, I guess I always liked Luigi growing up. I was the younger brother. But I wanted to do a more interesting costume than normal Luigi. So fire Luigi here. Oh, yeah. Make this out of green denim. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, you, ma'am? Yeah, and we're married, so his uh, mother-in-law made this for me, actually. So. Nice. How, and how much would you? How much time would it, would you say it took to make your costumes? I don't know. I'm don't not know. the one who spent the time on it. Yeah, we picked <laughs> out the material, but then his mother-in-law uh, well, uh, made it. No, we sewed it. We helped with design and we such. We made the accessories ourselves, and then we like purchased some extra things like this. I can't remember. <laughs> it was it was it was a lot of waiting, basically. Yeah. Planning. There you go. And uh, and uh, real quickly, um, what, what's the what's the thing you hate uh, you like least about uh, well, I guess Super Mario Brothers? I like least about Super Mario Brothers. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's only so much replay value in the main games. Um, yeah, once so, you learn the levels. Yeah, though I've always liked Mario 3, where it seems like there's always some extra hidden block somewhere that I didn't know, even though I played it, you know, repeatedly. Oh, yeah. it's They definitely packed that game uh, pr pretty full. And uh, I guess the final question is, uh, if you could take your characters from the Super Mario universe and put them into any other uh, universe in the in the multiverse, uh, which one would it be? I've got to say that's a question I haven't thought much about. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have anything? <laughs> So, well, I guess we can put it this way. You like them right where they're at. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Fine. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. It's not like the Super Mario universe isn't used for any genre of game already, so there's really no point in putting them anywhere else. That's very true. Wise words by a wise couple. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Edgar Caster. Again, as you can see, I'm at the Portland Gaming Retro Avant Garde Board Game uh, Expo. I'm here. We've got the one and only Mario, the sort of the, the, the mascot of Nintendo and retro gaming as we know it. So Nintendo, how does it feel to be number one? It feels pretty great. You might even call me number one up. That's great. How do you feel about your new games that aren't retro oh, it now? It feels pretty good. Look at all those polygons. Oh, I want to rub them on my body. That's good news, Bart. Looks like you're looking up in the world. Jeez, 
Jeez, what a jerk. Hey, I other than that. I have with me here. Uh, I'm an assassin. An assassin. Obviously, you can't give your name, otherwise, they might you know, find you out and uh, assassinate I have you. To be careful. Exactly. And uh, so, oh, what's what's some of the what's some of your basic gear that you have to use in your job? Uh, knives, uh, boomerangs, more knives, stuff I can't show you because it's got to stay hidden, otherwise, other people might see. Ah, uh, the the, the uh, other ninja, cl uh, sorry, assassin clans. Yeah. Well, just everybody in general. If they, if they see it, then they're gonna freak out, and then everyone's gonna be like, return. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, because if they know you're an assassin, they're not going to talk to you. Oh, yeah, right? I've got to hide in sight. Exactly. All right, well, th uh, thanks. Be careful. All right, thank you. And I have with me Bill Carlton, uh, the star of the uh, famous uh, movie High Score in Nashville. It's available uh, on the Internet, correct? Well, you can watch it for free at Hulu.com slash High Score. Well, there you go. Now you have no reason not to get on it. Well, after this video, of course. Anyways, uh, he's gone from, well, you've gone from high score, which was you uh, attempting uh, uh, the high score uh, for that was, sorry, Asteroids? Uh, well, Asteroids is what started it out, but the movie follows me trying to take down the world record on Missile Command. Right, exactly. And uh, so you've gone from that, you attempting your own high scores, to now you're judging them. Uh, what's, what, uh, was there something that caused that transition? Well, you know, after a number of years of uh, you know, submitting scores and dealing with Twin Galaxies and uh, becoming friends with uh, some of the guys that pull the strings there, um, they have a big, uh, you know, uh, base to pull from for people tracking games in different cities, different states. But when it comes to Portland, there's a couple of them, uh, myself, Ken House, uh, we can officiate and watch. And, uh, you know, I appreciated the people that did it for me back when I was first coming up through the ranks, you know, and now, uh, now I'm doing it for the next players coming along. Nice. Yeah, sort of, yeah, doing the next step. And so what, what, what's involved in judging a high score attempt? Well, you know, uh, whenever they've got some of the big wigs from Twin Galaxies, which I'm not, I'm not one of. Not but, yet. Not yet. Okay. But if the event pays for Twin Galaxies to be out there, then their refs who have been around for many years, they can judge off just watching and verifying and writing down the score. Because they go through all the games in advance and uh, make sure that everything's, you know, to spec. Uh, but in this situation, you can see here that uh, I record everything that's going on, so that, that way uh, there's no mistaking what you know every uh, every item. You can see here today we had a guy break the world record on uh, is it Fatal Fury? It's a Neo Geo game, I think. Uh, what is it? Um, King of Fighters. Yeah, in that same shot. Uh, that same yeah. Shot. So you can see that we show it all the way from the beginning, from start up. Uh, you shut the unit down, start it up, show the settings, make sure everything's aces, and then let the player go. As it turns out, uh, in this situation, we got lucky because even though they have a place uh, formatted for the scores at Twin Galaxies, no one has ever submitted yet. So the guy got an easy world record. <laughs> we can see here, here we are going through the settings right now. Fatal Fury, got to go down to level eight. It, most people are used to playing at difficulty four. So you got to make sure the setting is right. This is way harder. You can see my head right here in the uh, reflection, checking it all out. Yeah, nice. And so, uh, I mean, are there any games that are difficult to judge? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, some games it won't matter because there's no uh, there's no difficulty setting. There's uh, very few options the way the game is written. But other games, it's very intricate with uh, some of the settings and options, and uh, there it leads to problems years later when there's players that get so deep into a game that understand everything and then they see a score for a game that they know that with these settings, it's just not possible. Uh, so there is some of that. I prefer to record every single step of everything. Yeah. And, and have you had to make any difficult judgings as of yet? Uh, no, uh -uh, no, not for me. I'm kind of new at the uh, uh, submitting to Twin Galaxies for other people. I'm new to that. That's good. Uh all right, and uh, of course, uh, we've got Twin Galaxies in the high score. Uh, any websites that you'd like to give the people? Oh, you know, when you're in the Pacific Northwest, uh, one of the game rooms that you must go to, without question, is ground control. Um, if you're out at the coast at Lincoln City, please go to Game Over. And if you're down south in Eugene, Oregon, please visit Level Up Arcade. All right. Well, thanks, Bill Collerton. Thank you, man. Geeks. Oh. Nerds. Freaks. Gizmoids. That's new one that's uh, hitting the internet. There's a lot of names for people. But you know what I call them? Family.
at the Retro Avant Garde Cardboard Box R Classic Gaming Expo. We all understand each other, even if we're from Nintendo, from Sega, a cousin of Sony, anything. We all understand one thing. Getting really fucking good deals on cheap games. Yeah! But there's another part. More than just uh, swindling some poor fool who is trying to sell off his game collection so he can go to college. It's also about playing the games. And as you can see here, free arcade is a true arcade. This is Edgar Caster from oneofisland.com signing off.